Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to day three of the Glow Up Challenge. Well done for making it to day three. I'm so proud of you and I'm so excited to be doing this with you. You will be pleased to see that on day three, we are relaxing a bit. We'll be doing some deep breathing, some stretching and some yoga. Now, stretching is so, so crucial for your journey as if you have followed me for a while, you'll know how key I believe stretching to be. We will waste no more time and get straight into it. I want you to make sure that you're in a place where you've got space and peace and quiet so you can really do some deep breathing and get into it. Feel free to light a candle if you want. Okay, so to start with, we're just gonna roll our shoulders up and back, up and back. Now, it doesn't matter how you're sitting as we do this. Um, so you can sit with your legs crossed or you can sit on your feet as I am here. If you want, you can tuck your toes under to get a really nice stretch through the foot as we do these shoulder rolls. So really exaggerating the range of movement in the shoulders, bringing them nice and high, back and low. As we reverse the direction, back and forward, back and forward. Taking nice deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose as you do this. Nice and slow. You can breathe in for a count of four. You could even hold it. Hold the breath for a count of two before you breathe out for a nice slow count of five. Well done. Then we're going to lift one arm up and over the head as we create a nice bend in the body, a nice C shape, reaching over towards the floor, feeling the stretch through the side of the body, and then we'll reverse and do this on the other side, reaching over, creating a C shape, feeling that stretch as I anchor through the hand that's planted on the mat, breathing nice and deep, and repeat on the other side. So I'm placing my right hand down on the mat, lifting my left arm up and over, reaching straight over towards the side, okay? So I'm not falling forward, not falling back, I'm straight over. Reach a little further as you exhale. And release, coming down onto the other side. Left hand plants into the mat. Right arm reaches way over the head. Reaching a little further as you exhale. Deep breathing as we go. Well done, guys. And bring it back to center. Awesome, we're gonna come down onto our hands and knees now. Um, so in this position, hands underneath the shoulders, knees beneath the hip, Finding a nice stable position, you can move around with it like a tabletop position, keeping a neutral back. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place the hands so that the wrists are facing forward and the fingertips are pointing towards our knees and we're feeling a lovely stretch in the forearm here. So you can just move around with it, doing some rotations, leaning back and forth, keeping that palm pressed into the mat Feeling that stretch through the front body, through the front of the forearms. And then we're gonna do a different position with the hands. I'm gonna place the back of the hand onto the mat, reaching the fingertips again towards the knees, rocking back and forth nice and gentle, okay? We're controlling this movement. I don't want it to be that you're like, oh, this is really uncomfortable in my wrist. We want to stretch, but not too far, okay? So really control the rotation. Well done. And placing the palms back in the more natural position, fingertips reaching out in front of us. We're gonna hollow the back like so, as we do the cat and the cow, reverse, arching the back, lifting the head up towards the ceiling, feeling the stretch in the front of the body. You can do some neck rolls as well. 
whenever we stretch together, I really want you to just listen to your body. So if there's somewhere that's feeling this particularly tight to you, then feel free to like hold it there a bit. You know, you can tip side to side, whatever you're feeling. Because as we work out together, we all have different strengths and weaknesses. So it might be that after yesterday's workout, your glutes are particularly tight. Or maybe your quads are feeling tight, or maybe it's all feeling tight. But either way, just listen to your body. And reverse. Okay, and from this position, I'm going to curl the toes under. And I'm going to push with my hands as I lift the knees up and shift the weight of my body into a nice downward dog position. So hands are planted, shoulders are open and stretched. And we're just gonna walk the dog, we're gonna walk it out, lifting one ankle up off the mat, pressing it down into the mat. Breathing through as you feel that stretch in the shoulders and the calves and hamstrings. Nice deep breath. From this position, I'm gonna lift one leg up, strong into the air, squeezing that glute. Then we're gonna bring that knee through into the plank position, legs staying up off the ground, engaging the core here before we bring it, the foot up and outside, the hands planting it on the side of the hand. So we're in a nice deep lunge position here. Feeling that stretch in the hips, in the right hip, and in the quads of the leg that's behind. And what I want you to do is to really take a nice deep breath, center your balance as you lift the hands up off the mat and reach them way overhead. Nice strong position here. Deep breath in through the nose and out. And what we're gonna do is just drop that lower leg, so my left leg, drop that lower leg, lower knee down onto the ground. I'm gonna squeeze the core here nice and tight. I want you to shift the weight of the body forward onto that front leg. And the aim is to try and stick that hip, that left hip, down into the mat, okay? Trying to get it down into the mat, feeling the stretch through the front of the left thigh, through the quads. Core is engaged, glutes are squeezing, so we press that hip down into the mat, okay? Feeling that stretch, well done. Deep breath in through the nose, and out. What I'm gonna do is then take the right hand and reach it round back to the left foot, and we intensify that stretch a bit more. Deep breath in. And out, sinking a little deeper as you exhale. Squeezing that left foot back towards the left glute to intensify the stretch in the front of the thigh. Well done. Try and bring the chest up, balance if you can. If you need to keep one hand on the mat like so, that's absolutely fine, just do that. That is fine. Again, just listening to your body. And we're gonna release that back leg down, the left leg down, placing the hands by the right foot in this deep lunge position. Lift the back leg up off the mat. What we're gonna try and do is just come down onto the elbows, okay? So really intensifying that stretch in the hip. So we come down onto the elbows. Nice deep stretch here. It might be easier to bring that right foot further out a little. Deep breath, chest facing the mat, and come back up. Well done. We're gonna return to that lunge position, back knee on the mat, left knee on the mat. And what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna shift the hips back. So shifting the hips back brings that stretch to the hamstrings and calf 
of the right leg, so the leg that's stretched out in front. What I want you to do is to reach towards the toes with your hands. Take a deep breath in and exhale as we sink the hips a little bit deeper, pressing the chest towards the leg in front. So really feeling that stretch. Deep breath in and exhale. Feeling that stretch, you can point the toes up to the ceiling, you can point them out in front, moving around with it. I love moving around, you'll notice, as I stretch and just really finding where needs that extra hold. So if you find that you tip to the left, it's a bit tight, you just want to hold it there a bit longer, feel free to do so. I want you to really try and press the chest into the leg, okay, instead of being hunched over like this, which I know is tempting, I was a little bit just then, we straighten that back a bit and press the chest into that front leg. You can bring a cushion under the back knee or under the heel in front if that's more comfortable for you. Hold it and then we're gonna return to that lunge position again. Hands up towards the sky. And place the hands in front, beside the foot. Lift the back leg up so the knee is up off the ground, balancing on the toe. And we're gonna return to the downward dog position. So again, hands, palms out on the earth. Walk the dog, lifting one heel, then the other. Feeling that stretch through the calves, pressing the chest towards your thighs. This time we're gonna lift the left leg up, point that leg to the ceiling, nice and high, really squeeze that glute. Deep breath, anchored the weight of the body through the hands. Then we're gonna drive that knee through in the plank position. Hold it there, engage the core. Deep breath. And bring that foot, planting the foot beside the hands to again a nice deep lunge. <laughs> well done. Some nice active stretching here. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna lift the hands up off the mat and reach them up overhead. Pressing the arms back behind the ears. Deep breath. Sinking nice and low. We'll lower the right knee now down into the mat. And we'll engage the core, squeeze the glutes and move the hips forward. Trying to drive that right hip down into the mat. My microphone's falling out. <laughs> Soz. Really breathing through here, feeling that stretch. I can really feel it in my left hip. It feels quite tight. And that's good. It just shows me where I need to focus on. So I'm just twisting over the left leg. You can do that if you want. If not, that's fine. Just listening to your body, seeing what you need. I'm gonna plant the right hand down now in order to get my balance. I'm shifting just above the kneecap of that right thigh that's behind me, okay? So I'm not directly on my kneecap like this. I'm shifting forward as I hold the right foot with my left hand. And I'm gonna lift that right hand up, find my balance, lift the chest up, Squeeze that right foot towards the glutes. Squeeze the glutes, engage the core. Feel that stretch in the quads. I know you know you're thinking, oh Sarah, I thought you said this would be relaxing. This is a lot of work. But it is, it is relaxing. You're stretching out. Yes, we're using the muscles, but we're stretching them as well. Which is so good for injury prevention, increasing our range of movement. It's really relaxing as well. I hope that once we finish this, that you'll just feel like jelly and you'll be like, oh yeah, that was good. Well done. 
really pressing that hip in to the mat still. And release. Well done, well done. And what we're going to do next is we're going to come back into that position, that deep lunge, lifting that right knee up off the ground, off the mat. And we're going to try and come down onto our elbows. So chest facing the mat. I know it's hard to keep fully in line. As I said, my left hip is a little bit tighter, so I'm finding this a bit more difficult, but I'm just gonna play around with it as I ease in, getting deeper with each breath. So my elbows are flat, my forearms are flat on the ground. My right leg is stretched out behind, feeling that stretch in the hip. Deep breath. And well done. Returning to that lunge position now with the right knee on the ground. We're gonna shift it again, switch it, engage the core. We're gonna push those hips back, straighten the left leg in front to feel that stretch as we place the hands on the outsides of the left foot. You can Lift those toes up, point the toes to the ceiling. That'll really intensify the stretch in the calves and the ankle. And I, can, I can't recommend this enough. Like my squat form has improved so much as I've done nothing but improve my ankle mobility. So being able to really get that foot pointed up, deep breath in through the nose for four, and exhale. Press the chest in towards the thigh, keeping the integrity of the spine, trying not to hunch too much really. Push the hips back, press the chest in towards the knee. You can rock around with it. If you'd like, stretching the inner thigh a bit, outer thigh a bit, but we're still being intentional. Well done. I want you to come up and onto your knees, onto both knees. We're just gonna sit the hips back into child's pose as we reach the arms out in front. And I want you to really take a moment here to just breathe. Some nice deep breaths. Well done. Okay, let's take a seat facing the front. I want you to cross your legs if you can, if that's comfortable for you. Um, it might be a little uncomfortable for you, that's okay. Just do as much as you can, okay? So what I'm gonna do is lift one leg up. I'm lifting my right leg up and I'm just crossing it over my left leg. So my right foot is on my left knee, like so, and I'm just gonna push that hip open. Oh. Honestly, I've been working on my hip mobility and it's, it's been tough. <laughs> but as you feel the improvements, oh, it feels so good. So we're just gonna remain in this position. Take a deep breath. And lean over as you exhale. Reaching the fingertips forward. Pressing the chest towards the knees. Heart open, or rather chest open. The doctor in me is like, what do you mean, heart open? <laughs> and really relax. When I say to relax, I'm not trying to relax you by force. <laughs> it's 
It's because it really helps with stretching. So the more relaxed you are, the more we can open up the hips. So just lean into it. And come back up towards center. Deep breath in through the nose. And exhale as we round it over the right knee. Keeping the hips planted, try and keep that left hip planted on the mat. I don't want it lifting up. I'm going to walk towards center and over the left knee. Now you'll really feel this now in the right hip. Especially after yesterday's workout. Rounding over a little bit more as you exhale, keeping that hip planted in the ground, into the mat. And back towards centre, well done. You can roll the shoulders down. If you're feeling a little bit tight, can roll the head and neck, pushing that knee. And we're gonna swap over onto the other leg. So my left leg takes the back seat. Sorry, my right leg takes the back seat as my left leg comes up on top. So left foot on right knee. Deep breath in, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, walk over towards centre, keeping those hips firmly pressed into the mat and pressing my chest towards the ground. Exhale as you round over a little bit further. Really stretching the hips and the glutes here. Pressing that chest in towards the mat. Relax as much as you can. <laughs> You're doing so well. And come up towards center. Deep breath in. And we're gonna go over the left knee first. So pressing that chest in towards the knee. Feeling that stretch, keeping that right hip pinned down. I don't want your hip lifting up. No, we keep it pinned down. Keep integrity of the pose. If it means you can't go as far, that is absolutely fine. There'll be some of you doing this who are like fully touching your head to the mat. And that's amazing. Good on you. And others of us will be up here. And that's absolutely fine. The main aim is to just meet ourselves where we are, have grace towards ourselves and feel the stretch. And walk towards centre and then over the right knee, pressing that chest in, feeling that stretch in the left glutes and hip area. Deep breath. And come up to centre. We're going to finish off opening the hips up a little bit more. So I want you to keep your feet together. So feet together like so, holding the feet, tucking them in towards the bottom as much as we can. I want you to hold on to your ankles wherever is comfortable. Keep the chest lifted and press the knees open. So I really want to open up the hips. Try and get them as close to the mat as possible. I know mine is still a bit of a V, a wide V shape, but that's absolutely fine. Deep breath in and relax. I'm just going to intensify that a bit. I'm going to take uh, my hands behind me and I'm going to use one hand to press open one knee. So my left hand is pressing open my right knee. I'm going to try and stay sitting up nice and tall as I squeeze my glute and pull the left knee down, active stretching here, pull the left knee down towards the mat. So this is me non-active, this is me squeezing that glute to open the hips as I keep that right knee down. Deep breath. Well done. 
And same thing on the other side. So my left hand goes behind, my right hand is pressing that left knee down towards the mat, and then I squeeze with my glutes to pull the right knee down towards the mat. Well done, amazing. So that is day three done. We've done our stretching. I hope that you really enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments how you found that and how you're finding the glow up plan as a whole. I'm so pleased that you're doing this with me. Please feel free to share this with a friend. Keep in touch, let me know how you're getting on. I love working out with you. Thank you for letting me be even the tiniest bit of your fitness journey. I love you so much. I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye.